Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. My first true experience with Linux was on a live CD, and I think you can still download live CDs, although most live distributions are likely going to be available on flash drives anymore. Does anybody still use CDs? Uh, I think it was Nopix, if I'm not mistaken. And the idea of the live CD is that you could, you know, basically burn an ISO or a disk image to a, a physical CD, reboot your computer, boot from the CD, and it boots up into Linux. Doesn't touch the hard drive, didn't even really see the hard drive, and you were inside Linux without really having to install anything. And these live distributions became very popular. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if they were still popular. Now it's pretty easy to install Linux uh, on your own, you know, outright as the default operating system, or potentially uh, running Linux inside a virtual machine, whether you're using VMware, Parallels, I have coupons for either one of those. Uh, and then uh, go.tagjag.com slash VMware and go.tagjag.com slash Parallels, if I'm not mistaken, or uh, VirtualBox, which is okay. I mean, it's nice, but I wouldn't say it's the best in terms of performance. But hey, you know, with VirtualBox, you kind of get what you pay for. The uh, idea, though, behind Linux, uh, and uh, very appreciative that it exists, even though I'm not someone who uses Linux on a regular basis. I have a great amount of respect uh, for those who do. Uh, Linux is, uh, you know, certainly a not just an alternative. It is a viable platform for you to do things that you would do in just about any operating system. Doesn't mean that you'd get fewer viruses on Linux because certainly there are, are there's malware. Worms could easily, you know, find their way into your system. It can happen, especially if you really don't know what's going on. And, and I'd say 99% of the people using computers generally don't know what's going on between the keyboard and the actual system. Doesn't mean that uh, you know Linux is the best option. And people always ask, well, do you think Linux is better than this? Well, I, yes and no. If you're asking what's the most affordable operating system, well, in terms of money out of your pocket, you know, a Linux distribution may do well for you. But then again, you have to remember total cost of ownership. You're not going to be able to get the same software uh, every step of the way or when it comes to Linux uh, that you may find the software on Mac OS X or on Windows, but with more software becoming increasingly available uh, by way of the web, like a web-based software system, all you really need is a, a web browser. So, you know, more uh, people are, are certainly considering Linux as their operating system. And we've been publishing information about Linux on LockerGnome.com for a number of years. And we've just uh, completed a guide, a very, very short guide, to help those of you who want to get started. We've got some optimization topics that we've tackled for Linux users. So if you just started with Linux, or you're looking for optimization tips for Linux, uh, we've started the thread officially. You know, it, 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 it's more than just uh, installing the operating system. You want to tweak. You want to make sure it's it's doing what you want it to do, and it's it's doing it well. I mean, there's always going to be room for more optimization. Uh, you know, I've optimized Mac OS X. I've optimized Windows. And now, uh, thanks to the help of Eddie Ringel, uh, one of our authors on LockerGnome.com, I can optimize my Linux installs. Chris, you are wrong. Install Wine on Mac to use Windows programs. I don't know if I really would suggest that uh, every time I've tried wine, and it works, but you kind of get what you pay for. And, you know, um, I generally like things that look nice. Linux has evolved over time. Linux, you know, specifically the GNOME shell or KDE or ICE or any of any, uh, the desktop environments you want to use, uh, the UI is everything. And sometimes introducing programs on one platform onto another, like by way of wine, You'd have to be drunk to believe that that looked okay, because it doesn't. Uh, it's functional, but not really for me. Uh, maybe for you, but it's it's definitely not for me. But that doesn't mean that the information is not worth sharing. I have no problem with Linux at all. I've got no problem with Mac OS X. I have no problem with Windows outright. It's about optimizing it for your experience. And everybody's going to want something different. Just so you know, Linux is an option not just an alternative, it's a viable option. I just wanted to put that out there. If you have any other suggestions for uh, optimization tips, uh, we'll have the comment thread open on that blog post. I'm sure you're going to post them on YouTube, but hopefully other people will see them and be able to take advantage of them. Hence, you know, kind of keeping things on track with comments on a blog post. Things can be somewhat organized. You can vote up and down and see which is the more popular optimization tip. You may have something that we didn't cover uh, about Linux, uh, but certainly uh, if uh, you were considering it, or if you've been running it for a while, you may have missed a tip or two. 
unless you think you're totally elite and you know everything about everything. There is a way to install Linux from within Windows. Indeed, Tobias, and I met Tobias when I was in Germany last year for uh, CBIT, keynoting that conference. Uh, th there, there are ways. We've actually written articles about those as well. And if you're not aware that Locker Room has been publishing content since 1996 about Windows, Mac OS 10, Linux, Android, iOS, I don't know what you're waiting for. You should subscribe to the newsletter. It's really easy to do, and it's free. We've covered this information long before you probably knew it even existed. Just going to brag about that. Been doing it for quite a while. So uh, if you're looking for that, you know where to go, LockerGnome.com.